The new modifier XP Blend helps you do just that. Blend the values of particles as they come within a certain distance of each other. In this fluid effects scene we have three separate emitters, a blue, a green and a red. They're mixing beautifully as a fluid, but they are not blending their colours. They're remaining exactly as they were at birth. So let's bring an XP Blend modifier into the scene. We'll set the parameter to blend colour, and then within a certain distance, particles colours will blend. Let's see what happens. And now we have a fantastic gradation from colour to colour as they blend, creating this realistic, beautifully animating mixed paint shot. XP Blend can do more than just colours though. In this scene we have two particle groups, the large red and the small green. Let's set our XP Blend to Radius and you can see that those radius differences are blended so eventually all particles have the same radius. We can also blend the physical properties of particles. Here we'll use Fuel. We'll give the red 100, the green 0. We'll set the red to be coloured by this gradient map to fuel. Let's hit play, and as the fuel values blend, the red will start to cycle through the colours of that gradient until they normalise at a fuel value of 50. XP Blend, the new control modifier only in X-Particles.